Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a short YouTube video uh, because there's a lot of videos out there that are like, oh, the Stellar X2, it sounds just like the Neumann U87. Um, and then there's other videos like, oh, it's not even that great at all. It's not worth the $200. It sucks. Um, I wanted you guys uh, to give you guys a sound of how this microphone sounds in a closet, just in a closet. Like this is basically my vocal booth right now, a closet. I have a Stedman Pro pop screen filter uh, that's filtering out the pop, 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 pops so we don't get any plosives. And then maybe you're like, oh, well, you're probably plugging it into a great preamplifier or something to get incredible audio, right? Well, no. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of messy. Um, over there, you can see that is basically it. That is the Audient ID4. Um, and that was about like 150 bucks on Amazon. And I plug the cable right here into that. And then that's my digital interface, basically. And we have a cable uh, that runs from that. And I'm going to show you right here. That connects right into my MacBook. And that's it. We have the microphone, the cable running to the Audio ID4. And uh, this is the quality that you're getting right outside the box. I'm not doing any mixing, any mastering, no EQ, no compression, nothing. This is the sound you're getting outside of the box. Uh, if I talk closer, you can hear this is how it sounds too. It's great. Um, now, is this a U87 clone? I don't know. And I'm sure if I had the U87 and I could compare side to side, I'd probably be like, oh, the U87 is better. But is it $3,000 better or $2,800 better? This guy I got for $200 on Amazon.com. And this is the quality that I'm getting. This clarity... This crispness from a $200 microphone, that is what's unheard of. That is what's amazing. So to the people that are saying, oh, it's not exactly like a Neumann U87. Well, the price tag, though, that's the thing. That is the thing, is that you're not paying that much money. So if you're wanting a microphone that perhaps has a similar sonic signature to the Neumann, that has an amazing sound, that the Booth Junkie who is a great YouTuber online. He does voiceover and he reviews equipment and microphone and how to set up your own studio. He's a great guy. He really recommended this microphone and the one that he got in uh, that someone lent him to try out for the channel, he didn't want to give it back or at least that's what he said in the video. So, um, you know, that's kind of some support from him. This is how it sounds here with, with just with you and me. And um, the sound that you're getting is amazing for 200 bucks. Um, some people, I th feel like, also got less than ideal results um, because they were using very, very inexpensive preamplifiers to connect to this guy. And um, it's a good microphone, so make sure you give it a decent preamplifier. Uh, you you want to give yourself, you know, the ability to capture what this guy can put out. And if you're, you're giving yourself low quality preamps, then, you know, the preamp is boosting the starting signal from the mic. And if that boost is poor quality, then obviously this is not going to sound as good as it could. So keep that in mind. Oh, also, <laughs> one thing I have to say, I'm using Mogami Gold cables, which shouldn't affect the sound too dramatically. But it does help in, um, in terms of maintaining uh, the trueness of the sound. And um, I feel like it also... Based on a lot of reviews, people say that uh, it reduces hum and buzz and and feedback and stuff like that. So um, j just just letting you know, that's what I'm using. So these aren't cheap cables. I think it was like 50 bucks for the cable. But you don't have to pay $50 to get the same sound. I'm just telling you that so you know everything that I did to achieve this. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to get the Stellar X2 microphone... And the preamp that I use, I'm going to have links in the description that show you this exact setup and how you can get this sound. Also, remember that you're not going to get this sound if you're out in the open in a really reflective type room. Uh, that's why I'm in the closet right now, because that r removes a lot of the, you know, the, the echo and uh, the reverb bouncing against the wall. It's not ideal, but luckily this is a very long closet and I'm doing it lengthwise. So my audio is kind of going out of the closet because I have the door have the door open so it's not like it's just bouncing around in here and, and then staying inside the room and building up it's bouncing around into the fabric 
which can absorb and reduce um, uh, the reflections. And then any extra buildup kind of just bounces out of the room. So these aren't all my clothes. These are my uh, fi fiance's clothes, but they're great for like a little, you know, little booth. So visit Wix.com today. Just thought I'd do a little test for you guys. This summer, one man, one desire. All right, that's it for today. Bye, guys.